Uh, in this video, we'll see uh, from glue how we can connect to Snowflake using Snowpark. So now let's see like uh, how we can kind of download the Snow Snowpark wheel file. So you can go into Google and uh, click uh, search for download Snowpark. So you'll get this uh, link uh, Snowpark Snowflake developers. Click on this link. So it will take you the download the latest version. I'm just clicking this Python install using pip. So it takes you to the next page here, like a Snowflake Snowpark Python 1.5.1. Click on this download files. So here you will have download files. Like you have two options: one is source distribution, other is build distribution. So I'm going to use a wheel file for this demo. So I'm just click on this one. So once you click this one, you will this uh, wheel file will be downloaded. So right now I have stored this wheel file in my S3 bucket, the Snowpark jar wheel. So I have downloaded this uh, 1.5.1 version file here. Latest one I have copied. I have the downloaded one. Download the file and upload it to S3 bucket. And uh, and the secrets manager, I have the secret that Snowflake secrets where I have stored the ID and password. Um, Study ID and password here. So now let's go into the uh, glue glue job. So here I've created a job here, Snowpark connection here. So here like uh, this is gonna import this Snowpark functions snowpark uh, like the, the way how we do for PySpark the same way up to connect uh, import those statements here next time uh, reading the uh, uh, installing I mean import boto3 for reading the secrets manager so this is first one I'm just reading the secrets from uh, secrets manager uh, then I'm just uh, preparing this connection string here so this is my account this is my snowflake account the user ID then the password then the role uh, varrows database and schema so this is the connection parameters next uh, creating a session here this is like to create a session like the way how we do for spark the same way we're doing it here as well session dot build a config connection parameters dot create so this question will be created here now next i'm going to create a database if not exist snowpark demo so the we are going to run this sql create database if not exist snowpark demo similarly like different SQLs you're going to run in the uh, snowflake so first you're going to create a database then it's going to use the database and create the schema the new schema and create the uh, file format there uh, if the file format is not create or replace if file format is not there it's going to create the uh, file format csv will collect so this i'm creating a stage here um, giving the url like uh, this is my s3 bucket from where I'm going to take the data and load them into Snowflake and give the storage integration three int file format here. Then I'm creating a schema here because my file does not have any schema. So I'm just creating a schema here. Start type uh, cast ID customer name. And if you have header and if you want to ignore that, you can use this one. Uh, read options uh, field delimited uh, command skip header equal one. So in that way, it will keep the header if skip it, skip it, uh, the skip header is there. And if you want to skip the header, then you can use this commands here. Use the statement uh, session or read options field limited comma skip the header comma. So in that case, header will be ignored. Next is I'm just reading. Uh, this is the data from reading this uh, file session dot read schema dot csv um, stage. Okay. Next is I'm reading the uh, uh, S3 file. So that is what this is session dot read schema dot csv. And the stage name here. This is my database, and this is my schema, and this is my stage here. So finally, I'm writing that uh, uh, data frame to a uh, table uh, called customer, and the mode is over right here. So I'm reading the data. I'm reading the data from S3 bucket, and writing them writing into Snowflake table. So in the, in the job details. So I've even used AWS Glue service role as hyphen one. There's a AM role here. 
I'm using Python 3.9 here and in the advanced properties I've chosen this library here Python library path so this is the path where I have kept this uh, wheel file so this is my wheel file so I just gave the path here so I'm going to create a table uh, in uh, Snowpark database schema is demo schema then I'm going to create a table as customer now let's see in the uh, refresh so this is my Snowpark demo demo schema there is no tables inside the schema now let's run this job before running we'll just check this IAM role Here I have chosen AWS Glue service role hyphen one. So this is access to S3 bucket glue service role and secrets manager. Now let's run the job. Job status run status showing us succeeded. Now let's go to Snowflake. Let's refresh this page. So now see under Snowpark demo, demo data schema, now the table is created. So the table is created here. So let's query this table. Now the table is created and the data is loaded into the snowflake table. So from glue we connected a connected to snowflake through snowpark wheel file and we are able to load data to snowflake.